Hey everybody, I am back. This is going to be a uh, pickup recap. I think I'll show my uh, eBay stuff that I've picked up over the last um, six weeks or so. And then also I've got to get caught up on uh, the last couple months worth of card show pickups. Um, and then I'll do my LCS stuff in, in, a, in another video just for the sake of time. So um, I will just dive right into the eBay stuff. I haven't picked up a lot of stuff on eBay. Um, I have mostly been saving as I mentioned in my last video, trying to decide on um, which card or cards I want to devote my money to right now. So I haven't really been picking a whole lot of stuff up, uh, but I've been picking up a few things here and there. Um, the first one that I've had this one for quite some time, but I really love this. And I think I saw these, uh, they have baseball versions of this as well. And then I learned that there was hockey ones, and so I picked this up. This is a Pacific Paramount, uh, let's see, these are called Special Delivery. And these are cool, they're from 1995 or 96, totally like a mid-90s uh, pickup. And it is, it's like a die cut, and it is shaped like a postage stamp. And uh, this is the Wayne Gretzky, and there are, like I said, there's baseball. I know there's a Griffey. Uh, of some of these and lots of hockey and baseball stars and so I definitely didn't want to pass up a chance to get Gretzky uh, once I saw these I was like man I've got to get one of those I love that postage stamp die cut and so to get a Wayne Gretzky like that was awesome so really happy to add that one and then I can't remember if I showed this one or not in my last video this is just the uh, Bryce Harper uh, just the tops foil from this year's, or let's see, last year's tops. Um, picked that one up. Here's another one. This is an awesome card. He is just killing it this year. Nick Castellanos. I got the Refractor Rookie of Nick. I uh, was hoping to get a graded one, but raw copies of that were so cheap. And he's doing awesome. He's raking this year. And then the seller did just throw in uh, a freebie, tossed in that Brandon Marsh Rookie as well. So that's always awesome. This one showed up the other day. I picked this one up uh, for my Jazz PC. I think I'm going to make a run at the New Orleans as well as Utah Jazz cards. Uh, I'd mostly been focusing on the Utah Jazz, but I do think I'm going to go. There's just a few more years prior to the when they moved to Utah that they were in New Orleans. So I picked up this Walt Bellamy. So awesome card there. So I needed that one. And that is it for the eBay stuff. Crazy, right? Not that much. Um, I've been to, we have a monthly card show uh, that uh, comes to a local mall. And I've been to the last two months worth of that. And I've picked up some things. And uh, I figure I'll show those. Um, the first little batch here was from one seller. He has a lot of vintage stuff that he sells. And uh, he had some awesome stuff that I, I picked up that I just thought was pretty cool. Again, nothing super crazy, but uh, I love Reggie Jackson, and I did not have this uh, Drake's Big Hitters of Reggie Jackson. So I picked that one up for my Reggie Jackson PC. Um, and then I got this for a dollar. And this is, this is sweet. I just thought for a binder, Willie Stargell Scratch Off. Now, it doesn't have the little scorecard part on the back. It's just got the inside part, so it's not really technically complete, but it's good-looking card, no creases or anything. And I thought, man, for a buck to get a vintage Willie Stargell, even just for my binder, I will take that. Here's a cool uh, deckle edge of Don Kessinger. Um, it's OC, definitely on the top-to-bottom centering, not the best, but he's a really good through-the-mail signer. And uh, so I picked that one up for, I think, maybe a dollar, maybe even less. Um, here's another one that I saw that I had to get that I didn't have. This is the Kellogg's from the 70s uh, 3D Superstar of Larry Boa to add to my Phillies collection. Uh, while I was going through the value stuff, I did find a Lou Pinella scratch-off. This one does have the full uh, fold-out scorecard attached with it. So I grabbed that one. I figured uh, maybe I could send that one through the mail if I feel like sending it to Lou Pinella someday. Uh, I know he signs for like five or ten bucks. Um, and then I found these. These are awesome. I love these. These are hand cut. These are the old school 70s hostess cards. 
And a lot of times I have seen these and they will have a lot of staining on them. I don't know exactly, I wasn't around in the 70s, but uh, I would imagine, I'm guessing some of the food product oil or something must have leaked on some of these at one point in time. Um, so some of them you'll see have staining. These are clean, nice, well cut as well, no creases, the Gaylord Perry. And then I also found a new Hall of Famer, Tony Oliva. So uh, those are what I picked up from one seller at the show. And another guy is a guy that I buy from frequently when I go to this show. He has uh, top loader boxes and he just, they're value boxes and all the cards are a quarter. And this is the same guy in my last video that I bought the $3 slabs from. Um, and he always gives you a good deal anyway, too. He's a great guy. Um, you know, you, he, he'll, you know, you can get him a stack and if it's like, 20 bucks worth, he'll sell it to you for a little bit less even too. He's a he's a he's always given good deals. So I picked up a lot of value box stuff. So I've got these separated by sport. And again, nothing crazy. These were a quarter a piece, right? So nothing, nothing earth shattering, but I got that uh, Steve Largent. A lot of this will just be stuff for my binder cards. Ken Stabler. This one was cool. And I still just think this is wild. Kirk Gibson and Steve Garvey as football players in college for Michigan State. And it's crazy, you got a couple of future MLB MVPs on that football team. Um, this one is not numbered, this is a Donovan McNabb. I didn't think I had it, so for a quarter I picked it up because I do love to collect number five. Here's a cool Kevin Dyson. He uh, played here locally at the University of Utah. Um, here's a guy that, uh, I didn't have this rookie of him, Vin, well, I guess I do for my set, but I didn't really have one that was just kind of in my collection. Uh, Vince Young, I liked watching Texas, I liked the Longhorns, um, and it was awesome watching him win the national title against USC back in the day, so I thought for a quarter I'll pick that one up. This one is painful, I don't love the outcome of that game, Raiders beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl. But I figured for my Eagles tops team set run, I do need that card, even though they lost. Here's another one. Tony Dorsett. Weird seeing him on the Broncos. And uh, here's a few that, uh, that were cool to add. Rookies. Warwick Dunn. Pacific rookie card in his Florida State uniform. Here is a Ricky Williams rated rookie. And that one is numbered. There's a lot. It's not like, you know, 5,000, so it's not like it's out of 10 or something, but still cool. Um, and then, I don't know what it is about this card, but, like, if I ever find this card in a value box, I mean, I just always like Michael Irvin. Uh, I know as an Eagles fan, it is, like, treasonous to say that uh, because we hate the Cowboys and we really don't like the Three Amigos or whatever they called themselves back in the 90s, but... Uh, I always pick up that Urban Rookie. This was a nice Thurman Thomas Rookie. I think I did have that one, but uh, again, for like a quarter, I didn't want to pass it up. Here's another wide receiver that I really loved watching play, Marvin Harrison, who is also from Philadelphia. And this is just a ultra gold medallion die cut. So that is it for the football. Nothing, you know, not super heavy on the football. Um, but baseball, we got a lot of baseball. So... <clears throat> this is a, a cool find for the Phillies PC. Scott Rowland is numbered out of 2250. This has like that 90s shine on there. So I got to love getting Phillies cards for my collection. Here's a cool Steve Carlton, Tim McCarver. I think this one's numbered as well. Uh, not a 1972. So again, for like a quarter, I was just super pumped to pick these up. I couldn't remember if I had this Mike Schmidt or not, so I just grabbed it just in case I didn't. Here's a cool Tops choice of Bryce Harper. Looks like the 2008 Tops. This next one is a Sport Flicks from 1994 of Lenny Dykstra. Here's another Scott Rowland. This is Spirit of the Game. And this is pretty cool. It's like a die cut. And uh, it's good looking. Cool. Early career card of Scott Rowland. One of 1,500. 
from the late 90s. Here's a rookie of Pat the Bat. Here's one of my all-time favorite Phillies, Tug McGraw. I love Tug. Again, just a quarter, just quarter stuff, just value box stuff that'll just end up in my binders, helping boost the Phillies PC. There's a nice Nola insert. Here's a cool Kurt Schilling. Kind of wild, the seeing the pitcher hitting on the back. Here is a cool Mike Schmidt, Scott Rowland, Reflections in Time. I didn't think I had that for my Phillies collection, so I grabbed that one. I did have this one, but I wasn't sure. So, for again, for a quarter, I just grabbed it, but I did already have that one. So, probably just put that one up for trade on Trading Card Database. And then, let's see. Another one that I found at the show for like a dollar was that Maddox rated rookie. Found a Dave Stewart 82 tops rookie. And then I found these. I can't remember if I showed these or not. I don't think I did because I know I got these at the card show. Uh, I got that Tom Selleck Major League with Frank Thomas right there next to him. I love that movie. Um, the same seller had these two. These are the... Star Quest. These are both the rare variation. And so I got a David Ortiz. And then I was able to also in the value box find Ken Griffey. And then oh, this was an eBay pickup. Can't remember if I showed this one. This just kind of got mixed into the stack. Steve Garvey, Louisville Slugger, baseball glove tag. It's got that little hole there that where it would hook to the baseball glove in the store. So I just thought that was an awesome oddball thing for the Padres collection. Happy to get that one. Here's a value box rookie pickup. Tony Armas rookie card. He was a good player. Um, and then I also scored this for a song. This is Jose Abreu, Top's Finest, number to 75. So I definitely won't pass up awesome low numbered cards of great players like that. Um, I pulled this out of a pack. Again, obviously I didn't go through the stack well enough. James Altman. <clears throat> Most of these are value box pickups. Obviously there's a few, I think, that are sprinkled in here by mistake. Here's a Bartolo Colon rookie. Again, for a quarter. Couldn't pass it up. Same with this one. I just thought for a quarter. Chili Davis. 2007 tops. Tim Lincecum. Timmy! Bob Abreu, one of my all-time favorite Phillies, with the Asheville Tourists minor league card. Kurt Schilling, Don Russ rookie. Here is, I don't know if I'll keep this top loaded or not, but it's a couple of guys that weren't superstars, but they were, uh, you know, pretty good lengthy major league careers. Billy Hatcher and Shawan Dunstan. Here's a sweet Kurt Schilling. Minor league card. I love the minor league stuff. So to find that for like a quarter was awesome. Uh, here's another one again. Quarter pickup, but Steve Balboni. He was a pretty good player for a while. Bye bye Balboni is what they called him. He could really slug the ball. This is a Don Russ. Just a nice looking uh, studio press proof of Kenny Lofton. He's an awesome player. He was great. Nice shiny. Eddie Murray, Mark Mulder rookie card, got some vintage stuff here. I am working on a Big Red Machine binder project. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of those Big Red Machine players in a Reds theme binder. So I grabbed that George Foster for that. I also grabbed this one with Ken Griffey and Tom Seaver. Obviously, that's a little bit past their World Series runs, but um, I definitely want to get uh, get that one, though, as Griffey was a part of that, but Seaver was not. Here's a cool oddball food issue. Jumbo Sunflower Seeds, Daryl Strawberry. I am all about those oddball food issues. Love it. And box bottom cards, Burger King, Fred Lynn. Again, one of my guys, I didn't think I had this one, Reggie Jackson. Got another one, Reggie Jackson. 
I will take Reggie Jackson for a quarter all day long. And then I got these for my Phillies Tops team set run. I already had that for my Padres one, but I do need the uh, I do need the uh, Ron Diorio for the Phillies. And I've oh, got a couple more baseball value box. Got Maddox on the Padres for my Padres PC. This is just a cool uh, vintage card of what should be a Hall of Famer, Rich Allen on the Cardinals. This card's like metal. It's really heavy. This is a uh, really cool Barry Larkin. And then another Ken Griffey just for that big red machine binder project. So that's what I got for the baseball front. Um, also, while I was at that show from the same seller, I paid... This is a 1985 Tops. Like a 40 card send away set. I got this for like five bucks. This is 85. So it's again pretty thick set. And uh picked up the set of those. And then I also got this set for <clears throat> I think you just pretty much threw this in. I was buying so much stuff, but I got the Quaker set as well. And this is a pretty pretty bulky set, pretty thick. So got those. So that will go into my oddball baseball set binder. And then he also just had a ton ton of 90s basketball inserts and so I definitely jumped on that so you'll see a lot of the towers of power old and Polonies Sean Bradley so these will just go into my 90s basketball insert binder got some like rookie sensations Clarence Weatherspoon Robert Ory LaFonso Ellis, Tom Gugliotta, briefly played for the Jazz, the Glove, all defensive team, the Dennis Rodman on the Spurs with the Demolition Man haircut, a few Magic's All Rookie that I didn't have, Todd Day, Ellis, here's a 94, 95, Lindsey Hunter, now we just have some more. I'll just kind of plow through these for the sake of time. But just tons of 25 cent basketball, 90s basketball inserts and some rookies. So here's a Stoudemire rookie. I didn't have that one. Brandon Roy. This guy, what could have been, right? Just had some bad luck with the injuries. But I didn't have that Topps rookie of his. But just really picked up just some awesome stuff for my insert sets. The Spreewell, that one is numbered 1 out of 8,500, so not scarce by any means, but again, just lots of 90s inserts and rookies that they had that will really be a good boost to my collection. Kenyon Martin, got this for the Jazz PC, got this for my ABA project, was pumped to find an ABA in there that I needed, and then just back to more inserts, Chris Weber. Dominic Wilkins, who remembers him on Boston? I do. Got a couple Dominic Wilkins on the Celtics. Cooper, I did a Lakers binder with the Showtime guys, and I actually did some of the Shaq, uh, Derek Fisher, Kobe, Robert Horry era, early 2000s Laker teams, and the 09, 10, 11 era Laker teams as well. I got a big just binder of Laker dynasty guys. So I got that Cooper for that. Here's a guy that was a really awesome player back in the day, Michael Ray Richardson. This is cool. Harold Miner shooting a J over Michael Jordan. He won the slam dunk contest in the 1993 All-Star Weekend when it was in Utah for the first time. And uh, that was really exciting. So since then, we've, you know, I've always been a big Harold Miner fan just because uh, he won the dunk contest that weekend and they called him Baby Jordan. It was pretty cool. Here's a cool Charles Barkley Rim Rockers. Just got this for the Jazz Collection. Hornacek, I don't think I had that one. Here's a nice Camby, Topps rookie. He was a good player. Got a couple more for the Jazz PC that I didn't have. Stockton, and of course, a nice shiny Carl Malone. Uh, Gary Payton insert. Pippen. Here's a rookie of Rashid Wallace. That dude right, just racked up technical fouls like crazy, but he was he was tough. He was a good player. 
<clears throat> this is a cool uh, college rookie year of uh, Chris Weber. He's a newer Hall of Famer. Insert of James Worthy. This card I had of uh, Allen Iverson that I happened upon that I don't think I had. Wrapping this up, we will be done here soon. Last few. Got a rookie card from my Laker Dynasty Binder of Luke Walton. Didn't have much of him. John Stockton for the Jazz Collection. And then these are always awesome to find in the value box. This guy is my favorite sixer uh, that's on the team now. Tyrese Maxey. Couple of rookie cards of him. Pick those up. Here's a really cool looking Chauncey Billups die cut. Rookie year. Here's a Hoops Rashid Wallace rookie. And I got just a few more here. We've got a Jermaine O'Neal rookie. Sorry, this stack's like getting in the way. Sorry, guys. Jermaine O'Neal rookie. We've got a Stadium Club Jermaine O'Neal rookie. This guy was awesome. Mostly known as a pacer. Um, but uh, he came right out of high school, same draft as Kobe, and he was a little, took a little bit longer to develop for him, but he was a really awesome player. Here's a cool Pau Gasol Upper Deck rookie card. And then the last quarter box pickup is this Alonzo Morning, same as that Spreewell. It's numbered out of 8,500. So I had the regular version to this. I've actually got an auto of this as well, and now I've got this one out of 8,500 variation. So, um, Tons of stuff at the local card show. Uh, lots of really affordable pickups. So it's been awesome to be able to go there and for like 20 bucks just get tons of cool stuff. Most of this will end up going in binders. Um, a few of them, like the rookies and stuff like that, I'll, I'll put in my, uh, in my top loader boxes. But um, for the most part, a lot of the inserts and things are going to go in my NBA uh, insert binder. So I will have to show that one time on the, on the channel. So... Um, Again, no huge, huge money pickups since the Clemente, and uh, I'm just kind of waiting, just trying to decide what I want to go for. So I'm just kind of dollar boxing and quarter boxing and a couple packs here and there, just kind of doing it a little bit affordable and uh, just trying to decide on what my next uh, play is going to be. So that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Hope everybody has an awesome weekend, and we will see you on the next video. Have a good night, everybody.